from a secret location in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh my God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's in every kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. We have a story here from the London Telegraph newspaper. Boo freaking who? Isn't this sad? According to the latest research, According to the latest research, women have negative feelings after a fling and remain unhappy with fleeting sexual encounters. Boo hoo 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 hoo. Wah wah wah. Tough luck. You know, women love to say they're equal to men. They're just like men. We like sex, too, you know. We like sex, too, you know. Yeah, you like sex, but you want to get your claws into us. (laughs) Having a fleeting sexual encounter, not good enough. You need to know where this is going. (laughs) Where is this going? How are we going to progress? How do we take this to the next level? There is no next level, sweetheart. You want to go to the next level? Get up on that pole. (laughs) The stripper pole, you with a filthy mind. Come on. Says here, researchers said the permissive society sparked during the 60s was supposed to free women to enjoy casual sex just like men, but that it had failed. Most women will only embark on a one-night stand if they think that it could lead to a full-blown relationship. This isn't me talking. This is the scientific community. And, says the study, women feel used and ashamed when it goes no further. I want to say hello to all the women I have used and ashamed who haven't been calling me lately, who are out there probably weeping. How's it going? (laughs) Says here the findings were part of a project at Durham University, this is in England, led by Professor Anne Campbell and published in the June issue of the journal Human Nature. That's on my coffee table, as you know. According to the survey, 80% of men had overall positive feelings about this experience, compared to only 54% of women. Men reported feeling greater sexual satisfaction and contentment afterwards, as well as a greater sense of well-being and confidence about themselves. Oh, yeah, baby. (laughs) When I get laid, I'm pitching a tent. Tell you right now, especially if there's no strings attached. Oh, what's better than that? You know what's better than that? No strings attached, and she makes you a sandwich when you're done. Before she calls a cab, <laughs> gets the hell out of there. <laughs> oh, the little ladies get upset about the flings. The little ladies don't like hooking up, according to the scientific study we're quoting here. Says here that men were also more likely than women to want their friends to hear about it. Now, hear about what? Hear about no strings attached hookups. 
We don't want our friends to know when we're falling in love, when we might be in love, when we're telling a girl that we're in love, when we're really not. When it looks like she's becoming a girlfriend. We don't want to tell our friends about that. What we want to tell our friends is, I got some and I got it for free. No obligation. <laughs> That's what we want to tell our friends. Let's keep this straight. It says here, what a shocker. They had to do a scientific study to find this out. Women, on the other hand, were more likely to feel used as if they had let themselves down. They were worried about the potential damage to their reputation if their friends found out. And they found the experience less sexually satisfying. Is that really our problem? I say not. The study concluded that women, quote, have not adapted to meeting the sex because it did not suit them at this stage of evolution. It said men are more likely to reproduce and therefore to benefit from numerous short-term partners. Attention, Sean Kemp. For women, however, quality seems to be more important than quantity, no matter what they call talk shows and say. Says here also for women, finding patterns of high genetic quality is a stronger motivator than sheer number. And it is commonly believed that women are more than willing to have casual sex when there is a chance of forming a long-term relationship. So the trick is, don't, don't tell them what your plans are. <laughs> In evolutionary terms, Professor Campbell said, Women bear the brunt of parental care, and it has been generally thought that it was to their advantage to choose their mate carefully and remain faithful to make sure that their mate had no reason to believe he was raising another man's child. Now, this study was done by taking uh, 1,743 men and women who had experienced a one-night stand, asked them to, uh, they were asked to rate both their positive and negative feelings the following morning. <laughs> There's your study. So uh, women may call talk shows and say, we love sex, Tom. We love it. We love it just as much as men do. We want to get laid, too. Why don't you just tell us you want to get laid? Well, the reason we don't tell you is because as this study shows, women are willing to have a one-night stand if they think it could lead to a long-term relationship. So you can't say you just want sex. Even when you just want sex. You have to use some other excuse. Come up and watch a DVD at my place. I've got a new CD I want you to hear. <laughs> some some premise. You like smoking weed? I got weed. Come on over. Like that. You can't tell women I just want sex. They won't do it. But uh, do you believe this uh, study? Do you believe the results here? The results say that women still feel guilty about one-night stands. They still feel guilty about brief sexual encounters. We call it hooking up. Uh, women, no matter what they say, according to this study, still feel badly about it. And should men be concerned about this? Because I know I'm not. Tom, Tom Likas. Like 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You know, you're very funny. I like you because, you know, you, <laughs> you, 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 oh, I like you. The Tom Likas Show. 97.1 Free FM. SoCal's FM Talk Station. The Tom Likas Show. At one 800 800 tom Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. While, yes, a study from England says that women have more regrets than men over hookups, one-night stands, etc. You think that's true? Should we be concerned about that? Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Tom. Hello, Mike. How are you doing, good sir? I'm doing great. Good to hear that, sir. Hey, uh, first of all, Tom, I just wanted to let you know um, I'm a big fan. Uh, first of all, uh, I wasn't always, but uh, I remember you having a, a, a session on your show where you said uh, you had an epiphany on a, a therapy session you went to. 
Well, the epiphany that I had was listening to Tom Like Show and like really listening to you, bro. And uh, you helped me get through a lot, man. And uh, I really have to thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for the public service that you provide. Sure. uh, And you know I do it as a public service. I absolutely do know. I've been servicing the public here in Los Angeles for 20 years, one woman at a time. (laughs) I'm sure you do, Tom. I'm sure you do. Yeah. well, um, yeah, I guess it's uh, it's mainly about a, a guilt trip for the women, you know, because, it, I mean, it is a good point what you say about the whole, uh, oh, you know, let's go hear a CD at my house, go hear a DVD, because I don't know how many times that's got me laid instead of just saying, hey, let's go back to my place and bang, you know? I mean, girls, they don't normally want to hear that, but if they hear, like, a nice little cheesy movie is going to be played at my house, and there's, like, a little bit of champagne and maybe some weed going around, hey, the animations, they go right down the toilet. Well, that's the thing. You you can't let on that your uh, plan uh, is to just bang them and clang them. Uh, you just say nothing about that. I don't believe in lying. I don't believe in saying I love you. I don't believe in saying maybe we'll get married someday or any of that stuff. What I believe in doing is saying as little as possible. That's why I tell the guys, just shut up. Don't be sitting in these situations where you have to sit for hours and have a conversation. No big, long lunches or dinners or anything like that. You want to talk as little as possible. Let her blab, and you just sit there and and mark time until it's time to take her clothes off. Yeah, Tom, and uh, a DVD rental, a box is like, what, five bucks? A bottle of champagne is $10? That's $15. They come to your house, and gas prices are like around four fifty right now. So oh, better than that. They can go ahead and take that drive. They can go ahead and spend their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even if you take the drive, I mean, the advantage is, of course, you get to leave when you want to. That's and true. They don't know where you live. That's why I live in a, kind of a secluded little area, so I kind of make uh, extra little turns here and there before I get to my uh, house. Not only have I had two women, problem. not only have I had two women, who um, would not leave after relationships. I have had women who go, come on, I just want to stay over. And you can't get them out of your house. Then the next day it's, why don't we go to the park or go out and have brunch or something? I mean, you just can't get rid of them. Like, a yeah. t- like girly, didn't you understand this from the beginning? All I wanted to do was bang you. <laughs> I, didn't want to go to, I, I don't want to go to Malibu and have brunch. Some girls, they just, they cannot get that through their head. And you know what? Some girls, they just think just like men. And I don't know why they can't get that part through their head, you know? Right. You know? Hey, uh, Tom, i got to get back to work, bro. But if you can uh, take me out with a really, really long bong rip, bro, I would really appreciate that, man. I'll give you a good one. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, that's our telephone number. A study from England says that women have more regrets than men over hookups. Men love it; makes us feel great. And no matter what women say, what they really want is a long-term relationship, and they're willing to try a hookup if they think that will lure you into a long-term relationship. That's what the study said. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, that's our telephone number. Jeremy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's going on? Not much. I um, just barely started listening to you, man, and I love you, man. You're just, you make me laugh so much, man. Anyways, about the situation, the whole coming back to my place and watch a movie, use it a million times. And for the ladies out there, if you don't want to bang after, during that or after that, don't even come over and watch the movie. You know what I mean? I mean, that's what I'm really saying is once you come over and bang, but I have to use the movie. You know what I mean? Well, keep in mind, there were some chicks who were so cheap. That yeah. they'll have you rent the movie so they can watch it. Oh, definitely. definitely. They'll have you buy that cheap wine so they can drink for free and watch a free movie. I'm telling you. I'm telling you that much. And I don't know. If, if the whole thing is, I mean, if you're going to come over, I mean, what do you think's going to happen at night? I mean, seriously, they, they know what's going on. They just want to play with your emotions. <laughs> they don't want to play with your emotions. They want to own your emotions. Yeah, that's true. That is true. But uh, I really love you, Tom, and I think you're doing great. You make me laugh. But uh, can you take me out with a fat bong rip, too? I can give it to you right now. <sighs> love that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's making me... Uh... I don't want to say thirsty, but you know what I'm talking about. Ashley on the top like is yo. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, okay. So 
I I agree that women do want to have sex and that they can do it without feeling guilty if they really have their mind set on it. But I think the reason that it's more likely to happen when guys ask him over to watch a movie or something like that is uh, I think the girl, really, she's trying to play coy. She she wants you to think that, oh, it's her idea. She wants to have it in his head that, oh, he only wants to watch a movie. Well, this is what's going to happen. Uh, guys hate going to the movies for the most part. Uh, <laughs> movies are the price of admission to get laid sometimes. Uh, that's what women, uh, well, they don't need to understand it. Hopefully, uh, they'll continue to be uh, uh, deceived by the concept that we'll just watch a movie. Well, I I don't think they're necessarily deceived by it. I just think, you know, women like to, honestly, they like to beat around the bush a little more. You know, guys are more straightforward. Nothing I like more than that. Huh? Huh? No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, no, I just think it, it makes it more entertaining for the woman or more of a game because I don't know. I don't know why it has to be a game. I like well, getting no. laid. I want to have an orgasm, and then I want to take a good long nap or maybe uh, sleep for 12 hours. That's what I want. Well, I, I think girls are, are getting to the point of being that frank, but I just I don't think they're there yet. So I think that's their way of, of meeting. I think what this study is, is implying guys. is that they may never get to that point, that you know, the women are biologically hardwired to be having sex in order to uh, get a guy committed to have a long-term relationship. True, but I, I, I think they're trying to push away from that. I, I'm not saying they will or they can't. See, you see what I do with women. Tell me if this works for you. What I do with women is I don't tell them what my intentions are. I let them believe whatever they want to believe. Now, on the radio, I'm very honest about who I am. When, when someone meets me and they've heard me on the radio, they will say things to me like, you can't possibly be the way you are on the radio. Come on! You can't be like that! Come on! No man is like that! So what uh, happens... So I have sex with them, and then I don't call them for a couple of weeks. And then they call whimpering, simpering, crying, yelling, screaming, whatever. And I said, hey... You knew what I was like when you had sex with me. But I couldn't believe you would actually be like that. What? You think I'm, I'm being coy? I'm an a-hole, okay? <laughs> That's understandable. And you know what? At, at least you, you frankly say it on the radio. There, There's a lot of guys out there who are afraid to be that frank. And they do, like you said earlier, make the promises of, oh, this and that. Well, the other thing is, I, I, the other thing is though, I, I say, I tell the truth on the radio. When I meet a woman, I don't tell her what my intentions are. I let her believe whatever she wants to believe. That's good, because that's going to end up keeping her happy until you don't want to talk to her anymore. Right. And then she's going to say, I can't believe you used me. Hey, sweetheart. You could have got me to sign a contract. You could have asked me what my intentions were, but you didn't. Hello? I'm here. I finished oh, my okay, thoughts. Sorry. Now, the, this is the point in the dialogue where the other character, I believe her name is Ashley. Now, this is her line here. Yes. All right, you think about that, sweetheart. 1 800 5 800 Thomas, our telephone. There's another potential victim right there. Get that phone number. <laughs> Let's say hello to Jeff on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How's it going? Doing okay, sir. First time, long time. Yeah. Um, I had this girl I met online. Uh, met up with her for lunch to kind of scope her out. Not one that you would uh, take home to, or uh, take around with your, with your buddy. Yeah. Just one you'd want to bang and clang. Exactly. It's one of those ones you just kind of keep in the bullpen for the uh, for the weekday. Not even bother with the weekend. Did she have that internet chunky look? <laughs> she did. When I met her, we went to lunch. Uh, we're eating. I we so you had her strap on the feed bag. I said, I said, oh man, I forgot my wallet. She ends up paying for lunch. Love it. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, then did she yeah, lift? Then, then did she lift? Did she lift up the super fupa so you get a look? Uh, you know, Tom, it wasn't really worth it. And uh, did she pull those curtains? Huh? Her, you know, all I wanted, you know, when friends with benefits, and that was it. No, no long term, no boyfriend, no girlfriend, nothing. You know, I'll come over, and that's about it. 
uh, a couple weeks later, I, we hook up. Uh, I'm in, I'm out. Yeah, I get done, grab the grab my clothes, go into the bathroom, clean up, grab the boys, and uh, we're out of there. As I'm leaving, she's like, oh, wow, you know, I really think you're the one. You're so special. You know, when, when are we going to see each other again? I said, hey, 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 you know, we're only going to be friends. You know, I was pretty clear at that. And uh, boom, out the door I went and never talked to her again. Wow. So, eh. Friend, friends with benefits. Yep. That was your intention, friends with benefits? Yep. FWB, friends with benefits. So anyway, Tom, if you can take me out old school. I certainly can. one 800 800 tom that's our telephone number. It's Danny on the Tom Lagos Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? How's Not much, Danny. How's your day treating you? My day is fantastic. Glad to hear that. You know what? Uh, the study basically it said that girls are more likely to feel guilty. Is that correct? Yes. Well, I think it's because guys are usually the ones that leave them hanging afterwards. Usually the girls, you know, they're into it for more than just one night. You know, like you said, like the... like. The but they don't are... say that. Girls, in, believe me, because I've dated them, girls on college campuses, they, oh, yeah, we like to hook up like anybody else. They've got all those slutty <laughs> MySpace pages and Facebook pages and everything. Ah, uh, that's true. You know, that that definitely is true. But, you know, based based on all my friends, even what I've done, you know, like there was a, I was in a, in a one night, I had a one night stand where I met a girl randomly at a bar, called her up the next day. You want to hang out? Yeah. Went over to the place, banged her, left her. That was that. She uh, ended up calling me the next day. Hey, you want to hang out again? I didn't even respond to her call. I mean, I, I would have definitely assumed that it would make her feeling, it would leave her feeling like crap. So that's probably why they regret. I mean, I, I love I'm making like them it. feel like crap. There's nothing I like better <laughs> if they feel used and especially humiliated. Yeah, well, well, there you go, Tom. Thanks a lot, Tom. Take me out, Kobe style, man. Always a pleasure. There you go, Danny. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Aaron on the Tom Likas show. Hello, hello Tom. Hello Aaron. Hey, so I got a story that pertains to what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. I was messing around with this girl, and uh, I didn't I didn't express my intentions or anything. I let her I let her assume whatever she wanted, and uh, so you know we we fooled around a couple times, and then uh, I didn't talk to her for like two weeks, and she calls me up and she needs jumper cables, right? So I'm like, all right, whatever. I got your and jumper then, cable right here. Exactly. And so, uh, you know, she comes back afterwards. I'm like, hey, you want a beer? And so we're hanging out. And then uh, I was like, so you want to have some fun? Let's go. Let's go fool around. And she's like, well, what what's going on? And I was like, why do we have to put labels on this? Let's just have fun. And she got so upset. And oh, they the hate most, that. The most hilarious thing in the world. And then she leaves. She leaves for a good 10, 15 minutes and it comes storm back in my house. And grabs her keys and takes off, and I just started rolling on the floor. Love it! Oh, they hate that. Here's a phrase I've. Been, by the way, if you want a line in that uh, genre that 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 just drives women nuts, here's the one I use. Why can't we just enjoy this for what it is? <laughs> totally, totally. But I get this. I run into you like it. Last, last I night, like last it. Night. <laughs> and uh, so she she wants to talk about what happened, and I was like, look, I was just trying to have some fun. You know, you took it another way, and uh, that's what happens. So, and then I, I just treated, I proceeded to treat her like crap the rest of the night. She kept talking, and I kept cutting her off and like interrupting. And then she, she wants to be with me. She, at the end of the night, she's like, you know, I really like you. Let's go. And I'm just like, nah, sorry. And I just left. And that was that. Unbelievable. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous. But uh, anyway, I, I appreciate what you do, Tom, and uh, can you take me out with a bottom grip and a thank you, Jesus? You know I can, Aaron. Thank you, Jesus! Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You are the voice of reason in this godforsaken world. It's the Tom Likas Show. 97.1 free FM SoCal's FM Talk Station.
From Hollywood, my name is Tom Likas. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Out of England, a scientific study that says that women have more regrets than men. Over one-night stands, hookups, call them what you will. Uh, women love to call the show saying, we like sex too, but the science says differently. What do you think about that? 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello here to Cedric on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Long-time listener, first-time caller. Just wanted to say this is the topic right here. This is an amazing topic. Thank you very much. Sure. Uh, so I dated this girl about two years ago, and, uh, uh, you know, I, I slept with all her friends like every young man should. And uh, one of the girls who uh, I still don't know her last name to this day, who is still in my uh, address book, is uh, somebody that I've kept in touch with on, uh, you know, every season, maybe a week every six months. And uh, I don't understand girls, how, how you can, how a girl can come into your life for a week, move the city where she lives for school, come back every six months, and then, and then really expect that something's going to change after a repeated past of two years. By the way, did she think that, that you're stupid enough to believe that she's not dating other people when she's not around? Exactly. You know, she tried having the conversation with me. I said to her, don't waste your time. It's not worth it. We have a great thing going on right now. Keep it the way it is or leave me alone. How did she react to that? She came over last night. <laughs> See, guys just have to have a, a, a spine. They have to have the balls to say what you said. I, I don't. I don't get it. I mean, I don't know why. Why it's that difficult? It's like you get what you want when when you tell people what you want. Oh yeah, I had a woman. I got to tell you, she could very well be listening right now. I had a woman at one time who uh, was telling me about her abusive boyfriend. This chick was hot. She was from Venezuela. She was absolutely hot as a pistol. About twenty years old, and she had the uh, abusive boyfriend, and she was telling me about. It. It's like, all right, fine, when are you leaving? And not only did she drag it out, leaving, but when she got out, uh, did she uh, come over and have sex with me? Oh, no. You know why? Because I was a good person, she said. I, there was potential for a relationship. She didn't want me to think she was a slut. I, I said, you had sex with a guy you had to call 911 on. What, is it, what do you think you are? <laughs> yeah. You know, if you could have sex with a guy you have to call the cops about, you can at least have sex with me. Exactly. There's a woman out there right now that I know from a couple of years ago. Uh, she is of Mexican descent, and she knows her name, and she is hot. Hot, hot, hot. And she uh, she had sex with me a couple of times. And after that, it was always some excuse why she couldn't see me and why she couldn't come around or whatever. Eventually, she says, well, you do that 101. Maybe you can help me with something. And she starts asking me about some other guy who's boning her. Uh -huh. So I'm like, why would I want to give you advice about some other guy who's boning you? You don't come over and bone me. Why not? So yeah. she confesses to me, well, this guy's a bit of a jerk, but you, I, you know, I, you, you know the, I can really see a future with you. And so don't, don't even think about a future with me. If you would choose a jerk, an abusive guy over me <laughs> to have sex with, there is no future for us, dear. None. None. Forget it. Uh, She's still out there. She still every six months sends me an email or something, which I ignore. But I'm telling you, they, they, they're amazing sometimes. Yeah, I won't give this girl the opportunity to have the conversation with me about past relationships, about anything. She knows I used to date her best friend. She knows what kind of person I am. She, I treat her well, but she knows that it's a strict. It's strictly over and leave. It's that simple. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't, don't. And it's when you say things like that to them that they keep coming back, and 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 you don't need to feel bad about it because you're not being dishonest. I, that's how I feel about it. I, that, that's the beauty part when you tell them the truth and you know they're not listening. Then later on, they go, I can't believe you're like this. You say, I told you I'm like this. Remember? 
I'm not, yeah, there's no new I board. said, I'm a son of a bitch. I'm a bastard. Remember I said that and did you pretended you didn't hear me? Remember that? That I told you this. Yeah. Well, it's a message to all the guys out there that they can be honest and get what they want and not feel bad about it. Yep, I, I totally agree with that, Cedric. Thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. A survey in England says, despite what women say when they call radio programs, that, that they have more regrets than men do over hookups, over one-night stands. What do you think about that? one 800 566 This is Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? No, I, I just didn't know if it went through. What's going on? Tom? I said, Scott, you're on the Tom Likas show. What do you think that might mean? Well, uh, maybe I'm on the air. I didn't know. There was a pause. You didn't say anything. So. You didn't know what that would mean. So, so when someone says, Scott, you're on the Tom Likas show, you're saying to yourself, what does that mean exactly? Oh, I, I'm just not used to being on the air because it's usually blocked. Well, that's why we make so. it easy for you. I put your, we, they put your name on a monitor in front of me, and then I, I read it to you. I say, Scott, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello, to make it really easy, knowing oh, well, that you, you're not a professional, and you hear me say it, and then you still don't know you're on the Tom Likas show. Well, I'm glad you broke it down for me, Tom. So, can I get to my topic now? Maybe. I know, I know there's a continuing topic right now, but I didn't want to kill it for everything else for the, for the ongoing topic of marriage, but, um, you know. I, when when were we, ta wait, wait, when were we talking about marriage? I, no, 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 just on your show, that's an upcoming topic. Right now, you, I don't know what the upcoming about. topic is. I never know what the upcoming topic is. I know what the I topic did, is I, now. Cause usually, usually you hype about, you know, don't get married, don't get married this, girls are, you know, nothing. You know, use them up, and I just wanted to, you know, debate with you about that. It, it, I know, isn't that what the show's about? I didn't, I didn't know. Well, we usually have a topic, and you call it about the topic I'm talking about, uh, but oh. you clearly oh. have decided to, uh, uh, to, to, to 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 cause a mutiny here and well, to well, take over and steer the ship. That, so I thought it was a you know upcoming trend. No, no, nope, nobody else called and tried to change the topic. You're the first person this hour. What's the problem, Scott? The guy just talked about his past times. He didn't. He didn't talk about girls. Jesus, you know, just get to the was... goddamn point, will you, son? Please. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I Such a wanna... <laughs> goddamn moron. <laughs> oh, I apologize. All right, well, anyways, the with my girl, uh, probably about two years now. Yeah, you're 19. Wait, wait, stop. You're 19 and you have a girlfriend. Strike one. All right, and, uh, and I have a baby due in October. Strike that, two. That, Why did you allow that two. to happen, son? <laughs> um, you know. Because you're happening. stupid? No. But, uh, oh, you know, you're intelligent. You're like a Rhodes Scholar. Or you're Albert Einstein, right? I pretty much 4.0 student all through high school and two years of college. So two uh, years of community college, yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh. -huh. And by the way, yep. son, if you're so smart, why are you at a community college? Well, I'm not in right now. Right now, because you were going to you're going to Bonham Young University, right? No, I'm actually going to uh, construction, and I'm making around $25 an hour. Yeah, well, probably, guess what? $25 most. an hour is chicken feed when you're not 19 years old, son, but you'll find that out down the line. When I'm 19? Are you kidding me? Half the people that are 19... Yeah, but guess what? Right what now. is the highest paid construction worker in the world getting? $30 an hour? Probably, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, well, get, I guess what? Thirty, thirty dollars wouldn't buy can. thirty dollars wouldn't buy you a quarter tank of gas at this point. True, but it's more than what uh, probably about eighty percent of nineteen year olds are making right so now. So what? Like, I don't care what you're making right now. You're going to live another seventy years. Yeah, what you're making right now is irrelevant. You're better off making eight dollars an hour at McDonald's right now and go into a real college and getting a real degree in something that really pays. That's why I'm a I'm an apprentice, so I'm going. To Ooh, well, what is the <laughs> ultimate salary you can expect to get, sir? Uh, probably about sixty to seventy thousand dollars. Ooh, wee! And you're gonna live in Southern California with with a with a, a a girlfriend and a baby, and you're gonna support them all on that. Wow, you've really thought this out. You know it. I mean, I, I, I'm jealous right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, so you're going to a, a construction college? Is that where you're going? Well, it's an apprenticeship school. So, no, so it's not uh, a college at all, is it? It's not a college at all, is it? 
Well, I mean, school is college. Right? No, it no, it isn't. No, school is not a college. Do you think the Columbia School of Broadcasting is a college? Do you think uh, uh, Do you think beauty school is a college? No, I just said college is not a. School, the Electoral right? College is not a college. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I don't know. You're contradicting It is not. It is buddy. No, I didn't contradict myself at all. A college is an accredited institution. It is a university. And that is not what you're attending. All right. Well. You're learning how to use a jackhammer, son. That's, okay, that's not, I get, that's I, not I a college. Uh, why don't you go to Hamburger University there with McDonald's? Why don't you do that? Because that doesn't make the money. Construction makes the money, sir. Uh, son, down the line, uh, many people who start by working at McDonald's end up owning a dozen different McDonald's franchises, and they become wealthy. What you are proposing is not going to make you wealthy. It's going to pay the bills for a few years until you mature enough to realize that in Southern California, $60,000 a year is chicken feed for a family of three. Right, dude. Half the people that—that's like an upper middle class, right there. Oh, Half sure the it is. Good luck, son. Yeah, you're gonna find out the hard way. And you called to argue with me about this? No, what I was going to talk to you about was I was gonna get married. I didn't think it was such a bad thing. You find how bad it is. And oh, it's great, like, great for people who can't afford a roommate. Uh, they can't afford an apartment. They need a roommate. Well, I can afford it. 20- I did not say that, and you can't say that word on the air oh, either. Our chicken stuff. Chicken that, feed, you idiot. <laughs> Chicken stuffing, or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's stovetop stuffing, is what it is, huh? <laughs> it's wow. hamburger helper. It's shake and bake. You know what I'm talking? That's what you're going to be eating on sixty thousand a year. Well, well, what do you make? <laughs> if you don't mind me asking. Well, put it this way: sixty thousand dollars. I'll make more than that this week. Sixteen or 16? sixty? You idiot. Six zero or six. What, what, which one is it? You got to... Say Santa, you jerk. I don't, I'm not I'm not Mexican, so I don't speak Well, Spanish. if you're in the construction business, I suggest you start boning up on Spanish because your co-workers will be. That, that is a true statement. So, but, um... So ask one of the other guys out there at the site what Say Santa means, and you'll find out how much I make. All right, awesome. I'll ask tomorrow morning. All right. I'll call back. But are you going to let me talk about marriage, or is that too What's hard left to say about it? You're clearly an idiot. Uh, obviously, right? And you're going to find out the hard way. And you're going to be living under the freeway underpass there with Ed McMahon and Evander Holyfield and Vin Baker and all those guys. You're going to be out there with them. All right. Well, do you get married three times? I heard that one time on the air recently. And no, I got married I, I four didn't... times. You got married four times. That's why I know so much about it. How can it just happen four times? Like, what do you think after the third time you would have been like, maybe this isn't so... uh, Well, we'll see how many times it takes you. It's only going to take me one time. Having a kid at 19, you're an idiot. You'll find out the hard way, son. Good luck. The Tom Likas Show.